St. Louis County in the spotlight this morning as County Executive Sam Page presents the State of the County. It's going to be a few hours from now. Uh, the Power of Two's Chris Ringier is live in Normandy with an exclusive preview of what he's going to talk about today. Chris. We are good morning to you, John. Good morning to you as well. We are just outside of the Two Hill Performing Arts Center here at the UMSL campus. This is where Paige is set to give that state of the county address at 10 o'clock this morning, but we already have a copy of the 17 page speech here this morning so we can highlight for you some of the issues that County Executive Page is going to speak about. In this speech, Page calls St. Louis County the economic engine of our region. Page saying that St. Louis County accounts for approximately half of the jobs in the St. Louis metropolitan area and a quarter of all of the jobs across Missouri. Page pointing to the recent completion of that massive I-270 North renovation project, along with all of the work going on at Lambert Airport as examples of economic progress in our area. The county executive is expected to detail improvements as well to the St. Louis County Police Department. Page will mention the two new precincts being built, one in North County and the other being the Afton Southwest Precinct, that precinct in Afton bearing the name of Officer Blake Snyder, who was killed in the line of duty back in 2016. Page saying that another $46 million is being invested in police facilities to make sure that officers have safe and secure places to train, work, and interact with the community. Page makes the case in the speech that violent crime is down in St. Louis County and that there has also been a significant drop in vehicle thefts. And finally, Page is expected to detail an effort to rebrand St. Louis County to give the county a more unified front and better market it around the country and around the world. And there is even a Taylor Swift reference in this speech. Page, though, does concede that there are more than $2 billion in infrastructure projects in the county that are not currently funding. Page says that the county needs to look at new revenue streams, and he points out in this speech that the county tax rate has not been increased since 1984. Attendance here is invitation only this morning. The speech will be live streamed on Dr. Page's Facebook page. For now, live in Normandy, I'm Chris Renier.